In this video, we're going to look at how we can add transitions to our slides in Keynote on the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. So I'm working in my slideshow here, and if we look at my slides in the left side here, you're going to see that I have a little blue triangle located in the lower right hand corner of a few of these slides. What that indicates is there is a transition there. So what is a transition? Well, basically, when you go from one slide to another, it's how you want to have that transition happen. If you do not have a transition, what it will do is it'll just go straight from one slide to another. But what you can do is add a slight transition. You can add a dissolve. You can add a clothesline. You have a number of different transitions that you can choose from in Keynote. As an example, let's take a look at a few of these, and then I'll show you how this all works. I'm going to go to my first slide here. We do have a transition there. You can see the blue triangle in the lower right hand corner of the slide. So now all I do is just click on the play button. And when I do, it'll play that slide. So now what I need to do is just tap the space bar and it'll go to the next slide via a transition. So let's go ahead and tap on the space bar on my Mac. And we can see it flipped around. That is a transition. When I tap on the space bar again, or I could use the right arrow, I tap on the space bar again, that one dropped in. So that's what a transition is. Now how do I set this up? Well, let's go over to my first slide here. Now that I have it selected, what we do is we go over to Animate. Under Animate, as long as we have the slide selected, what we're able to do is pick our transition. Now we do have to have the slide selected. If I go and select an object here, let's go ahead and select this text. You're going to see that it changes to builds. What we want to do is focus on the transition. So now what I do is I go back over to the slide here and I select it. So then none of my objects are selected. Now what I'm able to do is go and select my transition. Basically this is divided into two areas, this panel here. I can set what the transition is, this is a flip, and then depending on which transition I have, I can set the different options for it. Let's go and remove a transition. So I'm going to click on this, and to remove a transition, all I do is just click on Change, and then I say None. So this slide here does not have any transitions. You can see that little blue triangle is no longer there in the lower right hand corner. Now to add a transition, Again, I just go back over to Animate. I make sure that that is selected. And then we have our transitions. I do not select any objects. Now what I'm able to do is add my effect, add my transition. So I just click on this, and then I can choose from a number of different transitions here. To preview it, all I have to do is just hover over top of it here, and then go over to the right, and you're going to see Preview. I click on Preview here, and it previews it. It doesn't actually apply it. So now what I'm able to do is select which one I want. Let's go with confetti here and see what that looks like. I just click on preview, and now we can see the confetti. Yeah, I like that one. Let's just go ahead with that one there. So now we have confetti in there. I can still preview it by clicking on preview. But now that I have it selected, what I'm also able to do is select different options. What is the duration? What is the direction of the confetti? And these options will change depending on which transition you use. I can also set with this particular transition, I can set if there's gravity. This is for the confetti. I'm going to select there is gravity. So then that confetti, when I click on preview, will fall down. It applies gravity to it. So as you can see, you're going to have different options here depending on which transition you select. Now, how fast do you want it to go? Well, that's where the duration comes in. Right now it is set for one and a half seconds, but if I go and change this to, we'll just go to three and a half. We're gonna make this extreme. Now when I click on preview here, what it's going to do is take three seconds. You can see it's much slower. And then I can also set when the transition is going to start. This is on click. So when I press that space bar, what it's going to do is start that transition. It's going to do it on click. But I can also set it to automatically. This would be great for self-running presentations. I just select this, and then I set how long the delay is. 
So do I want it to delay five seconds? Do I want it to delay 15 seconds? Or maybe I just want to have it delay a half a second. In most cases, what you will do is set it to on click. When you set it to on click, you cannot set the delay because it's based on when you click it. This is more of a traditional presentation. You do it on click. So that's really all there is to transitions. All you have to do is just go to animate up in the toolbar. You select the slide you want to add a transition to, and then from there you're able to select from a number of different transitions. Your options are going to change depending on which transition you have. You can also preview that transition. If you want to remove a transition, all you have to do is just go back to where you add the transition or change the transition, and then select None. You can easily see which slides have transitions by looking for the blue triangle in the lower right-hand corner of each slide. So that's how we add transitions to our slides in Keynote on the Mac.